How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video actually turned out to be better than I thought it was going to be when the day started, that's for sure. We got some good content, uh, you know, in hot and also content the pack I got, alright? So here we go, the comp season is still coming out, of course, April 10th, we know, that'll be exciting. But then the content for today, we have some flashbacks, 92 Nick Suzuki, 90 Kirby Doc, the George's LaRock. 90 overall, Sammy Sal 90, low uh, 88 or Lau, Brian Boyle 88. So right away, guys, uh, the Kirby Doc's decent. His shot's not too great. Uh, Suzuki's a, a fun card probably to use. The LaRock, though, guys, he weighs 256 pounds, I believe. Now, that is a card that's very interesting because, you know, having big players in Hut is very, very good. I feel like this could be a cheap card and maybe an unreal card. I mean... It's going to be hard to hit him off the puck. I know his shot's not great, of course, but he's a big boy. He really is, LaRock. Uh, definitely a, probably a fun card to use, but the Boyle as well. Uh, I believe Boyle's like 6'6", six, six, so that'd be a fun card. And then uh, the prime times for today, 96 prime time, Zach Wierenski, 92 Ekman Larson, 92 Hart, 91 Landeskog, Kuznetsov, Cassian, Subban, Slavin, Vlasic, Bernier, Tenby, Former Devil guys, Matthias Tedenby, McLennan, 83 overall primetime as well. Uh, that's some pretty decent content, and these packs remain out. So I'm going to say it right now, though, guys. The Mega Packs absolutely are a pickup. Pick up the Mega Packs. They are simply, simply very worth it. Buy the four you can every 24 hours. You're probably going to do well. You're gonna, not going to lose much in value. And then if you get lucky, I, I know No Sleeves made a video on this yesterday. Uh, it's, it's very, very true, though. Like, there's... There's a lot of time that you're going to actually profit. So, you know, you guys are going to see uh, in a second that I did profit. And, uh, yeah, without, without further ado, here is my insane pull. Hold on. I got anything else? No. All right, boys. I think the audio is on. All right. Let's hope for the best, boys. I'm not mad. You'll take that. I mean. Bang. So we got him. Pat LaFontaine, 95 gold icon. I believe it's my first, like, mega pack icon pull. That's for sure. I mean, I don't really open mega packs too often. So yeah, that was pretty interesting, to say the least. Uh, I also use him in a couple games. And I actually put together some gameplay clips from Pat LaFontaine. So guys, sit back, enjoy, and here's some gameplay from Pat. Actually a pretty fun car to use. I mean, currently I'm selling him right now, though. Uh, I'd rather have LaFleur in the lineup. I mean, he's, he's decent. His size is a little bit of, of an issue, but I mean, he's not bad, though. 5'10", 180. Uh, he did well for me. You don't, you don't see his stats there, but he had five uh, goals and one assist. So not too bad. I mean, he definitely had his moments for me, and that's that's all I can really ask for from him. I mean, he, he, maybe, he gave me some good YouTube content, you know, and that's really all I can ask for. So that is that. Uh, big rival rewards and hut champs rewards tomorrow. I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna probably open that on Friday though. There's a new event, a new event on Friday, guys. So that'll be fun. Also, guys, there's going to be there's going to be the community pack opening tonight live on my Twitch stream. It's Henrique twitchtv Henrik. Make sure you follow the stream there, and I will be live in a couple hours. By the time I upload this, it'll probably be like an hour. So. Yeah, I mean, definitely tune in, guys. It's 100% worth it. I definitely look forward to seeing all you guys there, all right? 
if you have your packs open from GWC, uh, you know, get in there and simply we can, you know, watch it on stream. All right. So also for today, uh, I would say a new thing I'm going to try to start doing by the end of each video is I'm going to start having like, I guess, certain cards that I really just, I, I like, you know, and I'm, I'm going to call them out. Not really necessarily a price range either. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 80, I'll go 88 to 99, honestly. It's a very, very big range here. But I'm going to kind of just call out cards that I see right away and be like, wow, that's a good card, okay? So we're looking right now, and uh, right now Wierenski's a very good card, but he's too expensive. I mean, that, that's a little a little scary. Uh, Jamie Ben's an excellent card because Ben's a big guy, 6'2", 209. Actually, not as big as I thought, but still a good card uh, for sure. 89 Crosby's good. A little too expensive, but still good card. Uh, Mike Madonna, I'm a huge fan of. He's on my team currently. Uh, I really wasn't sure if I was going to like him at first, uh, but he really uh, ended up coming on strong for me. All right. Then we have, for some reason, this Daniel Briere always performs really well against me. 93 Briere. I know he's only 5'9", but he always seems to, uh, you know, get clutch goals and just kind of stun me and break my heart. Um, Patriotti's very good because he's, he's a big player. Um, Murphy's too small, I would say. Uh, Ekman Larson, 92 overall edition. This is probably a very, very good card. 6'2", 200 pounds, 99 speed, 89 shot with TN and WC. Those are fantastic synergies, guys. Absolutely fantastic synergies. I recommend them for sure. Uh, that would be a good card. Brady Kachuk as well. Uh, speed's a little bit concerning, but besides that, he's 6'3", 192. Big boy with a pretty solid shot as well. Uh, that's what I would say about Brady. What other cards we got here that I recommend? Shea Weber's an excellent card as well. 90 overall, 99 slap shot, power, and accuracy. So, you know, your DDU one timers would be a good player to take him with. He's going to rip him from the point. Uh, AD and BM are the sins. Not really the greatest, but it's okay. Uh, there's Pacioretty's flashback. I mean, of course, any Pacioretty's good. Uh, Niedermeyer, 90 overall. Marsham, 95. I feel like every time I play against Marsham, he's very good, but no goal is worth 600k in my opinion. I really just don't believe that. I actually don't. 95 McDavid for 400k is simply a steal. Uh, 99 speed with a 96 wrist shot accuracy. That's very, very nice. Uh, I definitely recommend any McDavid, really. I mean, any McDavid you can get your hands on. Very good. Uh, Kovalchuk, of course, excellent card as well. 91 overall edition. Uh, WM and DK are his synergies. 96 speed. You know, you'll love to see that. I mean, that's, that's definitely good stuff. What else we got? Uh, Johnson's a little too small. Pareko, 92 overall, is very good. 6'6", 230, WC and AD. WC is a great synergy to have. Nearly max speed. Give him SP and you're chilling. Uh, but he's very, very good. 6'6", 230, Pareko with a pretty decent shot. Uh, this is a card I actually probably want to try at some point before the year's over as well. Uh, he's, he's sick for sure. Char is too slow. Would not buy a Char. This is a 93. Um, that's just my opinion personally. Ekblad is a very good card in game. 92, I love them. Mantha is a very, very good cheap option. 88, I really like Mantha. 89, Ovi is good, of course. Uh, 94, Connor's only going for 300k. It's kind of shocking to me, but I guess maybe it's not too shocking considering uh, the fact that, you know, we're at the point of the game. Line A, of course, I always talk about 89 Line A. Pick him up if you guys can. Absolutely ridiculous card. 88, Giroux is good. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, Robotize, pretty good in game. I don't like Panera, and I really don't for some reason. They really perform well for me. Um, Hamilton, guys. This is one of the best right-handed D-men, like, for cheap, in my opinion. 88 Hamilton. I loved using this card for many months. Uh, I believe from, like, November to December, I really use this card a lot. 88 Hamilton with 95 speed. Pretty decent shot. 1T uh, synergy as well, so not bad. Any team synergy, you know, at least two points is pretty good on any card. You'll take that. Um, 100%. All right, Bax is pretty good as well. He's a big boy for sure. Uh, he's 6'3", 215, 99 faceoffs, good center. Joe Thornton, I love. I love his car. I'm using him on my team currently. Uh, Wierenski, of course, is excellent. I've talked really, really good about him. Shifu is a great card as well. Uh, he's 6'3", 207. Great card. I love him. Almost max speed. Um, don't like Bishop. 88 Eichel, I know is a little bit, of, again, of a cheaper option. Very good with SP2. Those are very nice to see. Uh, Gabrick, I do not like. I do not recommend 94 Gabrick to you guys at all. I'm not a fan. I had to really just make sure I kind of made that, you know, known, but not really a great card. Uh, who else we got here? Brocco. Probably a fun card to use, but not anything like crazy. And we have that. There's a bunch of cards, guys. There really are a bunch of cards, but I'm not really seeing anyone crazy like that I, I'd point out right away right now that I feel like, wow, they're really good. Because that's all 89 I liked using uh, earlier on in the year for sure as well. Uh, Kirby Docs 88 is so going to lose a little value now, that's for sure. Franzen. What's Franzen's uh, height? 6'4", 232 is actually probably a good card. 
Plus he has TN, so that's actually a good card, 100%. Uh, Franzen. Did I say Zetterberg? I meant Franzen if I said Zetterberg, but... Um, Alright. Gretzky, Curry. Gretzky, that's a lot for Gretzky. Well, makes sense, though. Probably you can trade this in for the Master uh, Icon Gretzky, I assume. So that does make sense. 96 stamp because it's an excellent card as well. Uh, with near 99 face-offs, max speed, and uh, shots nearly max as well. So, I mean, very good card. I don't know why he's X when considering X is really nothing for him. He's literally max speed. But anyway, you guys get my point. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik. Instagram and Twitter, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And uh, guys, check out my Twitch stream. It's uh, probably happening by now, by the time you're watching it. It could be, or it could have been over. If not, it's all good. I'm streaming every single day on Twitch. Follow that, and then turn the notifications on, and I'll see you all in the next video.